Welcome to Talking Trash. And today we're at the Becker County Solid Waste Campus. And we're actually inside because it's a little chilly today. But I wanted to just explain a few fairly new things that we do here. So um, just to kind of restate what our hours are, the Becker County Transfer Station north of Detroit Lakes, our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30 and Saturday, 8 to noon. Osage Solid Waste Transfer Facility is open Saturday, 9 to 1. Um, for, for the winter hours. And a few things that we do take, um, either at no charge or at a reduced rate, we take used oil from Becker, these are all for Becker County residents, Re used oil, scrap metal, fluorescent bulbs, ballast, inkjet cartridges, Christmas lights and extension cords, and it can be holiday lights. Um, and, and we're coming into that time of the, the year now, that season, and then household hazardous waste. Those are the things that we take at no charge from households. The bulbs we can take from businesses too, but we request that you let us know ahead of time and, and we, so we can chat a little bit and, and check the volume. We also recycle a lot of things, um, but the thing that we're going to talk about today is batteries. We have something fairly new. So now people say, What's the challenge with batteries? What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is batteries, rechargeable batteries in particular, can, be, uh, can cause a lot of problems at transfer stations and um, at recycling centers. Uh, if a battery comes in contact with metal, it can spark. And if you look at a transfer trailer, the whole trailer is basically kindling. And there's been lots and lots of issues of batteries um, causing fires in transfer stations and recycling centers or material recovery facilities. So it's really important, and I would like to stress this greatly, is if you have batteries, um, please pull them out. Now, people say, what's the difference between rechargeable and, and alkaline batteries? If you have a question, save it, don't throw it out, and we'll take it. But I wanted to show you some examples. This is just a few examples of small ones. Now, in my left hand here, there is a rechargeable battery and there's an alkaline battery. The alkaline battery can actually be thrown in the garbage, but they look similar. The rechargeable batteries, you can look and it says lithium ion. These are the kind, the lithium batteries specifically, have a lot of energy in them. And those are the, the challenges in transfer stations, so that's what's tending to be the challenges. And so th these are also the ones when you fly there, they can be really challenging flying too. But so we ask that anything rechargeable, so the alkaline, you can throw out. Um, there's not enough metal in them to, to cause problems, but the rechargeable batteries. So just a few examples, we have button batteries and there's lots of different kinds of button batteries. Sometimes it's kind of hard to, to read what kind it is. So if you have a question, we'd be glad to take it. Here's a um, tool battery. Here's another one. And so we actually have something new to make it much easier for you to, to recycle them. Number one, you can bring them out to the transfer station. And we have, we have staff that go through them and pull out the alkaline if they're, they don't belong in there and then they go through. And we have to do something really special with these and I'm gonna show you. But first I wanna show you what the, what the container looks like. We have some new sites and I'm gonna hold this up so you can see that. So we have one at the arena Davis Avenue Recycling Site just went out in the last couple weeks. Shoreham, Cormorant North Recycling Site, and then the Becker County Transfer Station. And these are the new bins that we have, and it gives you very clear directions on the back and um, on top and on the front. So basically what you do is you take the battery, there's bags in inside this little mailbox. I'm kind of short, so it's hard for me to reach it. And what you're gonna do, we'd like this for every single battery that you put in there, put it in a bag, because that's what helps keep the, turnout, the terminals from contacting each other. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this little piece of plastic off, you're gonna close the top, and you're gonna take this, and you're just gonna close the door. 
So it's all protected. The terminal is protected. It's not going to touch another, another battery in there. And you're just going to close it. And it hits in the bottom. And then we have it locked. And our recycling drivers will go, go down, open this up, and pull the batteries out. And then they bring them back. So having them bagged is really important. In transit, we have a special bag that's a fireproof bag. But it's, it's pretty important to, to bag them when you put them in the bin. So if it's very important, actually, not pretty important. It's very important. And then what we have to do is we take the battery, and hopefully it's bagged. But if it's not, we'll bag the battery. And then we work with a company called, um, it's called Call to Recycle now. Uh, it used to be called RBRC, Recycled Battery or Rechargeable Battery Recycling Corporation. And Call to Recycle. They send us these wonderful boxes, and um, we take the batteries. We have staff that take the batteries. There's actually, uh, and they bag them up like this, and then they place them in the box. Now, this is a special box. This is fire retardant. Uh, so if a battery starts on fire inside this box, this basically smothers it out. And so it won't, it won't burn, or it will burn very minimally. The challenge is, is, um, is the terminals, if they, if they meet, and it's possible, so that's why the double bagging is so important. That's, I can't state that enough. Bagging, bagging it, and they're placed in this box, and then when it's full, they wrap it up, they box it up, tape it up, and it's actually, we can ship it back to Call to Recycle at no charge. If you have any questions, please call 218-846-7310. Have a great day.